Welcome to the Average Male Moron Channel, where we might get older, but we never actually grow up. According to my mom, that is exactly right. And also, welcome to my dispersed campground, where we are along the coast tonight to figure out where organic seafood snacks actually come from. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Now behind me is the Pacific Ocean, but it won't be here for long. Throughout the course of the evening, this tide will go out revealing where the organic seafood snacks come from and we will see the harvesters coming here and harvesting it so you can enjoy it. Now not just anybody can come to this beach. In fact, they require four-wheel drive and a flag for safety. Now, where they harvest organic seafood snacks truly is a stunning place. It's just absolutely beautiful. And if you are lucky enough to have a four-wheel drive and a flag, you too can come here and enjoy the off-roading as well as harvesting organic seafood snacks. So while harvesting your organic seafood snacks here at Horse Fall, you get excellent free camping, free from the state of Oregon, dispersed camping, and you are only directly across a hundred yard beach from the Pacific Ocean. I waited patiently for the tide to go out. As the tide went out, we found evidence of seafood snack on the beach. Now, just a few hours ago, the Pacific Ocean covered all of this land. It is now open to seafood snack harvesting. Let's see how the harvesters are getting along. And as you can see, the harvesters are hard at work digging out the seaweed and maybe a few clams. They've waded over 300 yards out into the middle of the Pacific, where the Pacific used to cover, just to bring you organic, healthy seafood snacks. Getting to the seaweed is no easy task, as you can see from this youngster who is up past his ankles in mud. Now if you're thinking about being a professional seafood snack farmer, you really can't beat the views out here, especially in the morning. However, the smell could use some improvement. And now I am going to take a break from talking about seafood snacks to talk about something else that is important to me. When you are out dispersed camping, make sure you leave the campsite better than you found it. I don't think rice pudding snack needs to go into nature. It can go into the garbage. Same thing with water balloons, melted beer cans. Pack it out. Leave the campsites nicer than you found them so we can keep enjoying these public lands. And I am now back home from my trip to the Pacific Ocean over many, many, many miles. I've dehydrated my seaweed and have delicious seafood snacks. Let's take a look. Once it's cut up and dehydrated, you have seaweed that is crunchy like a chip. And at school, it's what all the cool kids eat. Very salty, but very tasty and nutritious. I give it a thumbs up. If you had as much fun watching this video as I had making it, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.